Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Postgres SQL databases with DaVinci Resolve. So whenever you install DaVinci Resolve, it's going to give you the option in order to add in the packages for Postgres SQL databases. So I'm going to double click the installer here and go through the process on my machine just to show you where that's at. So you can see in the DaVinci Resolve installer, you have the option here to check for Postgres SQL databases. So I'm going to install that package. And by doing this, that'll be the first step in using the databases with DaVinci Resolve. OK, so now when we open DaVinci Resolve up again for the first time, we have the project manager. And there's a little icon over here in the top left, which will say show hide databases. If you click on that, then you can see the different databases that exist on your computer or network. So as you can see, you can have local disk based databases which don't require PostgreSQL. And you can use these disk databases to store references to things like sound clips if you're browsing through your sound libraries. But in order to create your new database, we want to go down here to new database. And then we would want to choose create from here and choose PostgreSQL. We can give our database a name. So I'm going to call this tutorial DB, use the username. And I'm going to keep the username and the password as the defaults for now. So I'll create that. And as long as PostgreSQL is actually installed on your machine, you should see it creating the database now. So now we can start a new project with this PostgreSQL database uh, by selecting it from the database list, going and hitting new project or just opening this default that already exists. And if we go over to areas like the sound library and we hit the show databases button here, We'll be able to select from not only the local disk database that is out of the box by default, but you can also see the tutorial DB PostgreSQL database is located here. So we can select that. And now if you wanted to add audio files to that database, we could do add library and then select a folder that contains some audio files, select that. And you'll see that these 30 audio clips have now been added into the database. So if I wanted to search by a keyword, I could do that now and be able to browse through the sound library attached to that database. So now that we have a PostgreSQL database associated with DaVinci Resolve that's running on our computer, we can connect to it using tools like PG Admin, uh, which is a free program you can download. And we can already see the PostgreSQL server that's running on our computer by default, um, thanks to setting it up with DaVinci Resolve. And we can connect to that. So the default password is going to be DaVinci and the username is PostgreSQL, all lowercase. And once we've done that, we can look at all the databases that are um, associated with DaVinci Resolve. So for us, we just created the tutorial DB. And so by managing your PostgreSQL server using a tool like this, you'd be able to add more users, see who's logging in and using your databases inside of their project, restrict access and to use SQL in order to run queries against the database. But because the whole nature of SQL databases is a bit beyond the scope of just editing in DaVinci Resolve, I'm going to pretty much leave it there. Um, there's a lot of good information out there on the internet about how to work with SQL databases. But for the scope of this tutorial and how to set it up and how to start using it by selecting it inside of DaVinci Resolve, that's pretty much all there is going to be for it. Just be sure that when you are selecting your project or selecting where you're sourcing sound library files from and such things, that you do make sure that you are selecting from the right database for where you want to be selecting or adding files to and from. So that's pretty much going to be it for this video in creating and connecting to Postgres QL databases inside of DaVinci Resolve 15. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.